Hello everyone, this is Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly with a brand new device. This is the HTC Arrive, a Windows 7 device that runs on the Sprint network. Now the HTC Arrive is reminiscent in many ways of the HTC Evo Shift which came out for Sprint earlier this year, but in a couple of different ways it's also quite different. In fact, it's a little different than any other phone I've seen. First of all, as you can see, the HTC Arrive has a 3.6 inch diagonal screen. It's an LCD screen with a resolution of 480 by 800 pixels. And it's got the Windows Phone 7 operating system, so it has the tiles that you expect to see with Windows Phone 7. Now uh, up here you've got a button that's simply labeled Sprint and this gives you a background, your history, on what you've done with respect with calls on your phone. And this right upper corner tile here is your social networking tile. I've got it connected to my Facebook account so it has all my Facebook contacts and friends right there. And so on down it goes. This tile here is the Sprint Zone which takes you to various things that you can do on Sprint including Sprint TV and so forth. So as you drag across you can see what you have available for you. There's Sprint TV and movies, Sprint Radio as well you've got right there and we'll go back to the main tile page. Internet Explorer of course all the Windows 7 phones have an Xbox capability so you've got links to Xbox of course you can sync to your corporate calendar and email accounts you've got that tile right there on your main page you've also got a gallery tile that takes you to the photos and videos that you have loaded on this phone and we'll take a look at those shortly continuing on down I've got a me tile that tells all about me on this phone so there we go there what I've done lately on my various social sites so that's kind of a very quick overview of the main Windows Phone 7 tile page if you drag that page off now you go into the area where you can kind of drill down into the phone including things like settings so you can adjust your display your ringtones you can put it in Wi-Fi mode now this phone is not activated at the moment. I have it in Wi-Fi so I'm connecting with Wi-Fi at the moment but I hope to activate it shortly. I'm going to go back to the main page. So that's kind of an overview of Windows Phone 7 and let's take a tour around the phone. Now in the uh, right here at this edge, the upper, well actually it's the lower right corner of the phone, this is a dedicated camera shutter button and I'll be showing some uh, videos and uh, uh, photos that I've taken with the camera. Rotating the phone up you've got the on off button and you have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack that's for stereo audio. This is the phone rocker switch, the volume rocker switch that turns the ringer up and down as well as volume that comes out of the audio jack. Here you have the micro USB port that you use for syncing and charging the phone and uh, now you see that there's something funny going on down here. That's because the Arrive is a slider and a pop-up. You slide it out and it reveals a keyboard, but it also pops up so that it's at an angle like this. To slide it back, you tip it flat and slide it back in. So to slide out, you slide and it tips up. So when you sit it down, it now has the keyboard, of course you can't really do touch typing on this, but the keyboard is now laying flat and the screen is angled upward at you. So that's a unique aspect of this phone. There are a couple of other phones out there that have this tilt up keyboard uh, or tilt up screen and the uh, HTC Arrive is one of them. So now that I've uh, shown you that, let's talk a little bit about the phone. The HTC Arrive has a 1 gigahertz processor. It has a 5 megapixel camera that can do 720p HD video. Now you see right next to the camera it's got these three dots. That's for the speaker. The speaker is from uh, coming out of those holes right there. There is an LED flash for the camera and it is made by HTC as I mentioned to get under the battery cover you pop it open like that and there's a little slot here to get your fingernail into put your fingernail into that and lift the cover off underneath the cover 
there's a five, excuse me, a 1500 milliamp hour battery. And there is no removable memory on any of the Windows phone. Well, I can't say that. One of the Windows phones has removable memory. Uh, but this phone, the HTC Arrive, does not. Most of the Windows Phone 7 phones do not have removable memory. However, it has 16 gigabytes of built-in memory, plus there's a 25 gigabyte online storage capability for the HTC Arrive, and that's at no extra charge. I don't know if that's available for other Windows Phone 7 phones, but it is available for the HTC Arrive, a 25 gigabyte of online storage capability. Now, I shot some still images from the phone a little earlier today and was kind of impressed by the stills. Let's go ahead and take a look at those now. The stills were nice and clear. I could focus from about two inches away from something. It really made a nice clear focus and when I zoomed in to take a look at the photos they were pretty noise free. Maybe a little too edgy, like the edges are a little over enhanced, but the noise was pretty good. I also shot some video earlier today on the Windows Phone 7, so let's take a look at that on the uh, HTC Arrive. So let's take a look at that now. Here's a holly tree on the Wirefly campus. It's a nice early spring day and uh, lots of sun. Here is the Wirefly building. I'm shooting this with the HTC Arrive, a new Windows Phone from Sprint. One other thing I want to demonstrate for the HTC Arrive is that this has the latest version of the Windows Phone 7 operating system which has copy and paste capability. So let's take a look at the copy and paste capability of the HTC Arrive. I previously created a document, one of my office documents here, and it's called test document and I have this sentence. Now I want to copy and paste this sentence into an email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double tap in front of the T and then drag across the sentence. So it's now highlighted this. I touch this icon here and it'll copy it into the clipboard. I'm going to go back to the main screen, touch my email. This first email, I'm going to go ahead and create a response to it by touching the reply icon. And we'll bring up reply. And there we go. Now here's a little clipboard icon here. All I have to do is touch that and the text that I copied from that uh, earlier document will go ahead and be pasted into this. There we go. And now I can go ahead and send that and away you go. So that is a way to demonstrate the copy and paste from a document into an email. Now I want to go in the opposite direction. Now I have a link here to a page on Wirefly Learn. All I need to do is touch that and hold it until this uh, word box pops up that says copy link. Touch that and now it's copied that link into the clipboard here on the phone. I'm going to go back, find the document which is here in my office tab. Here's the test doc. It brings up the document. What I'm going to want to do is touch the little pencil icon down here, which puts me back into writing mode on this document. And I'm going to scoot down. Let's back up there. I'm going to go to the end here, scoot down a line. And now I'm going to touch the clipboard right here, and that will paste the link into that part of my document. There we go. And that's a quick video review of the HTC Arrive, a new phone from HTC for the Windows Phone 7 operating system. I'm Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly. Thanks for watching.